Now what I'd like to do is brighten up the, the frog himself so that it stands out, pops out from the, from the log in the background. So I'm going to switch my brush foreground color to white. So press X until this becomes white. We're still at 36% or so. So then I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller, left square bracket, and then I'm going to brush over the frog. just to brighten up the frog a little bit. Okay. I'm going to press X, go back to black. I'm back to black, and I'm going to darken the background a bit with maybe a bigger brush. Something like that. And then a little bit smaller brush and maybe darken up his black back leg here. And then X, I'm gonna bright X back to white. I'm gonna brighten up his chest area here to bring out some more of those highlights. And maybe the nose area. This is a little too bright for me, so I'm gonna darken that up. Press X until I get the black in the foreground. Darken that up a bit. Okay, so let's see what that difference that makes. So I'm going to go turn off my adjustment layer. Boom, so there it was before, kind of flat. And now the frog pops out a little more. Highlights, you can see more of the highlights. Right? So the idea is you want to use the overlay mode. So this layer is an overlay blending mode, and you're using blacks and white, black and white brushes to bring to darken up certain areas and brighten up certain areas to make your photos pop more to bring out more highlights and that's what really overlay does it it, it kind of makes the darks darker and the lights lighter so that you can you can see more details